Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to do reinforcement learning with cooperative Pong, stable baselines, and supersuit libraries. We're going to build a convolutional neural network to train this model how to play ping pong. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, guys, we're going to be using a uh, petting zoo uh, library, which is a uh, newer one than uh, Jim, which we normally use. I've also done ML agents as well. On all my Jim games, I normally visualize it, but this one I couldn't get it to visualize it, so I showed you how he performed in another way. Anyways, guys, he's still going. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, be advised I have tons of reinforcement learning deep Q and Markov models with Jim. I've even got a Markov model with uh, reinforcement learning for trading. See that video. <clears throat> I've uh, got ML pipelines with SageMaker pipelines. I've got all kinds of just basic data science tutorials to uh, ML ops to just deploying regular SageMaker models, no ML ops involved. You name it, I got it. I got Google Cloud deployments, I got Azure deployments. I've got it all. Check out my channel. I've got convolutional neural networks. Uh, for image classification, I've got ML web apps, AI web apps, you name it, I got it. And the web apps are with Streamlit. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Uh, import these libraries. Install Petting Zoo. And if you guys use Colab, your virtual environment doesn't need to be installed. Just so you guys know. <coughs> And TensorFlow and all that's pre-installed as well for some of my other videos. Use PyMonk. I've even got neural translation machines, not to get off topic. Now, guys, this is an API test for a different game. This is Piston Ball. You guys can apply my code to play Piston Ball as well. Don't do version 5. That one doesn't exist anymore. This is just a simple API test for a different game. Okay, now this is to see where he's at. There's your environment. Cooperative Pong V5. Environment reset. This is the parameters you need to pass. We're going to do two environments. Environment one is just for this. So anyways, pass all that. Stable baselines. We got to install this library. We got to install SuperSuit 2. Pip install. And there's your environments. Import those. Because we're going to use the CNN policy, convolutional neural networks. If you guys have seen some of my videos, you got them for image classification. Okay, now we got to reshape them and we got to use color reduction. So pass all that right there using SS library. Okay. Now here's the model, guys. The first model is environment one. We're going to reshape him in the environment too, just uh, so he performs in a totally new environment. You guys can change some of these parameters. However, he performed very well. Uh, you guys can do Epox 5, Model Save Policy. Pass all those parameters right there. You guys can make uh, different changes if you guys want. And then here's how you see how he's training. He performs better in his new environment, ironically. <clears throat> model load policy, PPO dot model load policy. And here he is in cooperative Pong dot environment. The reduction, environment one, environment one. We're going to shape him into this, guys. You guys see? Pass all that right there. Okay, uh, environment reset for agent and environment one agent iter. Remember guys, <clears throat> environment one. Observation, reward, termination, trunication, info equals environment one last. Model predict the observation. Pass this right there at the end also. Environment step, the act, remember, render. Print the act just to see uh, 
where he was at. He was on space one. It's computed to NumPy. Anyways, guys, you guys want to see him going? You guys see? Zero penalties most of the time. Okay, IPython display. That was when I was going to display him, but I couldn't. Because uh, you can't render him in uh, env environment mode in this library. You can't render him in Atari mode like you can on my other videos, and you can visualize. So I found another way to show how he's performing. Okay, epochs, zero. Frames to capture it. Penalties, rewards. Okay, one. Done equals false. Boolean logic right there for epochs. While not done for agent and invade agent admire one iter observation rewards environment last. <coughs> if reward Boolean logic is negative uh, ten penalties right there to one append frame environment render observation. Reward. Now, if you guys want, you guys can pass print uh, the same. You guys can pass the same thing right there. You guys can pass uh, reward and you can uh, pass in this format and then you guys can pass it right there, the appropriate parameters. If you guys want. Anyways, guys, um, just letting you guys know what else you guys can do. And guys, if you want to improve him even more, I'm sure he makes even more mistakes later on. Um, you guys can increase the epochs. That's one thing. You guys can also increase the time steps. Just so you guys know. And see some of my other videos that are more in depth for Jim. As you know, convolutional neural networks are usually used in image classification. They're also used in time series. <clears throat> yeah, not just LSTMs, which I've got two videos for that as well. So guys, just so you know, there's things you can do to improve them even more. Or you can simply copy me. And uh, if you guys uh, would be so kind as to leave a comment on my video to tell me what other kinds of videos you guys want me to do. I will get back to you. Don't worry about that. And also, um, be advised... Be advised, um, I will keep making videos in the future, and I'm going to get around to uh, MLOps more later, again, when I get more subscribers, you know. MLOps is not cheap in the cloud, just so you guys know. SageMaker pipelines, uh, other kinds of pipelines on like Kubeflow on Google Cloud, those are very expensive, just so you guys know. I will get back on the cloud. I've even got a database video you guys might want to check out. I've got all kinds of videos. I will get around to even more data science oriented. This is reinforcement learning. As you guys know, in reinforcement learning, you're supposed to penalize more than you reward. Otherwise, the agent gets lazy, as you've seen in my other videos when you set the policy. However, in this case, it was an exception. Usually, you're supposed to do zero and zero. However, he needed a little leeway. He's been trained. This is not a custom CNN. Be advised if you guys are new. This is not a custom CNN. Anyways, guys. Um, if you are new to my channel, uh, be sure to subscribe if you want. Be sure to hit like whether you are new or not if you like the video. It really helps me out. I was going to bring up, <clears throat> I got plenty of content based recommendation systems. 
just so you guys know we've got plenty of content recommendation system videos um, and I've got content based recommendation system web apps I've got collaborative filtering as well <clears throat> So anyways, guys, stay tuned. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.